Hey guys, this is Sam Geek. I thought this would, this would be a little fun test. We're going to do Inside Xbox versus the Nintendo Channel. First off, I'm going to show off the features of Inside Xbox. This is the little news feature. Every console has a little news feature. So let's go to Inside Xbox. As you can see here, in Inside Xbox has several things. First, it's talking about new guitar here I mean rock band tracks it also has um you know the imagine 8 2008 cups it also has what's happening in the community with um all the different communities there's family game night gamer chicks ladies night then we have um command and conquer 3 rank in different competitions there it also tells you what new arcade games are out and you can just purchase them by going down to new sh for shop for arcade games. Then we also have the new 2008 Cups winner. It comes with a video that we can watch. Almost all the news comes with a video. Some don't, but some most of them do. So as you can see, I'm buffering the video. Shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. Hello there, I'm Rafael from Mother Guy Studio. Welcome to Inside Xbox. <laughs> with the World Festival and Awards Ceremony. Microsoft execs presented awards to the next generation of technology and business leaders. Congratulations from Xbox to all these talented students. It's just fascinating to see, you know, the kinds of innovation. And that's basically all the Xbox, Inside Xbox does. Gives you new stuff. And it tells you, you can download the demo, what demos are out. What, and all kinds of stuff. Get free Halo downloads. As you can see, I could download some weird documentary thing. Legendary map maker. Someone sent me a message. Trailers. More and more stuff. And I can just do it straight from my menu rather than just you know go into find it myself so inside xbox has a little great features now let's look at the nintendo channel and compare all right hey guys this is Simon to geek now we're going to do the wii channel now um first off the thing that makes um the wii channel a little bit unuser friendly is um i have to go down here and press start now I know a lot of you say that's stupid. Why, why is that a strike against it? Well, I am judging them very, very closely, and I'm judging them on everything. I'm not going to pick and choose one over the other just because of this and that. You see, one thing that's a strike against um, the Nintendo Channel again is that. The Wii has something called Wii Connect 24, but the Nintendo channel doesn't really take a, a, you know use of this feature. What Wii Connect 24 does is it downloads my data overnight while I'm sleeping for my weather and my Wii updates. But the Nintendo channel doesn't take advantage of this, which is a very major letdown. So we'll let this load. It shouldn't take that long. Get back to you. Alright, when you first enter the Nintendo channel, you're greeted by this screen which is supposed to bring up the latest trailer. As you can see, I can play it, but it's not loaded yet. So let's just go to the video list. This is the Nintendo channel. And this has um, behind the scene features of developer's voice, 
for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, My Life as a King. It has tons of exclusive videos as well as um, trailers. It has trailers for every Wii and DS game. And it makes it brilliant for that purpose. You can also go into here, change the video volume, commercial message settings, data sharing settings, about Nintendo channel. And you also edit how your information is used. Because you also have the feature of um, submitting reviews. See, um, if I wanted to make a recommendation, say I played Super Paper Mario, who enjoyed it, um, males, enter age, 16, how would you rate this game? And then you see, um, it lets you go, um, say, casual users or hardcore. So I think gamers would enjoy it. And um, it asks you, casual or hardcore? Let's say um, a little bit both, so I'll put casual. And who, who is this to play, fun to play with? Alone, of course, because it's a first player game. And you press vote. It sends the data. It uses the data to make pie charts. Now the data used from this pie charts are very, very interesting. Because it also, the Wii records how long you played the game. So it'll also put post that up there. So say if I wanted to find a game. Let's look for one on the Wii. The publisher is, and we'll leave all of them. The genre is, um... A shooter, I guess. And I press search. Let's see Geometry Wars here. It's loading all the information for Geometry Wars. takes a very long time, which is another strike against um, the Nintendo channel. It could be just my modem though, so keep that in mind. I'll just explain the features. My modem is acting really retarded today, so. Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, the features list for the Nintendo channel includes you can download DS game demos, so if I want to try out games for my DS, I can download them there instead of having to go to Target or some shit like that. So, that's another good feature. It also gives me the option to see how long people are playing a game for, how much they like it, yada, yada, yada. I also can, I also can watch every trailer of the games without downloading it, which is nice, because on Xbox Live, you have to download the trailer. You don't get the option just to watch it. Well, some trailers you do. Not all of them, though. So, overall... I have to say that the Nintendo channel is a better system, but Xbox, inside Xbox does have its advantages, but most of the shit on inside Xbox can be found on the web, whereas most of the WiiWare, I mean, the in Nintendo channel stuff, you can only find there, like, how long people are playing, and specific things like that. So, in my opinion, Nintendo channel wins, but my modem was acting funny today, so I'm not able to show you everything it can do so I'm gonna let you guys vote what do you guys think which is better Nintendo channel or inside Xbox Samuel out